Hi, this is Matt from TracyMatt.co.uk, and here I'm pleased to show you the brand new Sony HDR TG3E Handycam, which is in fact the world's smallest HD camcorder. It's also the lightest, and it's also the first to be made of pure titanium. We are also the first to receive this, probably the first to unbox, uh, and certainly the first to see the full retail version of the product. So let's take a look. As you can see, attractive box design. Pretty typical of Sony, glossy, uh, attractive with the camera shown on the outside. Looking inside, have a black box which is also printed with the Sony logo. We have right on top a CD-ROM with the software, getting started CD or DVD. European warranty documentation, registration guide, accessories guide, and a few other bits and pieces there. Also comes with Sony Memory Stick Pro Geo, which is a 4 gig as supplied. That's one side. Another black box here. I'm sure the operating guide in a number of different languages there. Put that to one side, and we have a whole raft of accessories in terms of cables and bits and pieces. First of all, we have a USB to mini USB cable, we have a battery which is an Active Force Info Lithium battery. This particular one is 6.1 watt hours. have a composite video cable with a connector on one end and obviously the three connectors, phono connectors on the other. There is a component cable with a proprietary connector on the other end. There's a mains cable which is a European style. Charger with a pretty standard Sony camcorder plug on the other end. So have uh, some kind of adapter cable here. Uh, at this particular moment, I'm not 100% sure what this does. It is telling me to refer to the instruction manual. So I guess we'll take a look at that in a moment, and I'll comment on that later. We have a docking station, which is a nice thing to be supplied with a camcorder. Uh, it has connectors on the back for the AV out, USB and the charger for the DC power input. So it will charge on the base station. There is a proprietary connector on the other end for actually docking in there. It's a SCART adapter. And finally, there is a wrist strap so that you can put that around the, your wrist and the camera so that you don't drop the camera. Okay, so looking at the camera itself, as you can see, it's pretty small. Uh, the battery isn't actually obviously installed just at the moment, but it is very, very light, I have to say. The screen pops out the sides. You can see it's a 16 by 9 aspect ratio widescreen. That allows you to swivel right the way around, so you can film yourself and obviously anybody standing beside you has a built-in speaker so that you can play back your videos obviously the audio plays back there a couple of buttons here, we've got a reset an easy button which is an easy shooting mode um, basically an auto mode uh, display and battery information on the bottom there is a screw thread there for installing the camera on a tripod that proprietary connector on the bottom that goes into the dock have a cover over the AV connector and the DC in connector. There's also a cover for HDMI so you can output straight to a HDMI capable TV or video source. Power button is just there for power on off. Also have another cover where the battery goes 
which I'll just install in there right now. And the slot where our Memory Stick Pro Duo card goes. Close that up. And turn it on. Main dial for the controls on the back here. For zoom controls, which are here, start and stopping of recording, and setting the different options here, which tells me that I'm in camera mode for taking stills, video mode for obviously taking videos. Uh, it's also asking me to set up my region. So I am in London. As you can see, it is a touch screen, so it is summertime. It's asking me to set up date and time, which I'm going to skip past just at the moment. Um, it is telling me, unfortunately, the battery is pretty low, but it will allow me to video myself. And see, looking on the front here, you can see there is a built in flash. Uh, I would believe that, that to be uh, purely for taking stills rather than a light for illuminating uh, video. Which we'll just close that up and turn it back off. As you can see, the lens cover is closed. So, in terms of specification, quickly, quick rundown here. As I mentioned, it is a full HD 1080i. It will shoot in 1920x1080i HD mode. It is made of pure titanium, the chassis, and there is this custom hard coating on the outside. It is supposed to be very rugged. There's a 10 times optical zoom. Um, you can take stills at the same time as recording video. Uh, if you do that, they are recorded in at 2.3 megapixels, or if you're shooting purely in still mode, they are 3 megapixel. Audio is recorded in Dolby Digital 5.1 surround. There are microphones built in, front, rear, left and right, and it has a zoom audio mode. And let me just compare that to my Titan 2 to give you a size comparison. Um, it is pretty small, it's slightly heavier than the phone, um, it's a little bit larger in that respect, but the camera will definitely slip into a trouser pocket uh, for when you're on holiday and you just want to take the camera out and uh, shoot without planning. All in all, a very attractive HD camcorder. Unfortunately, we've only got camera on loan for a very short period of time, so we aren't going to have much opportunity to do a full review, but we will post our comments online on the website and give you uh, as much information as possible. And we uh, hope to see you again on tracingmap.co.uk very soon.